Well, this is Dirk the cat. Right. Uh, the wonderful cat at the Nevada Northern Shops who just passed away a few days ago. I know, I'm feeling so sad about it. Oh man, he was our buddy. So rather than continue with scales and gauges today, we're just gonna take a little break and a little ode to Dirt the Cat, a little loving memory for our, our good friend Dirt the Cat. I think I got introduced to him about 2016, the first time we went out there, and he made a grand appearance, and it was like he wasn't afraid of me, come right up. No, he wasn't. He, he got used to people. In fact, he loved people. Whenever there was a shop tour or anything, he would immediately show up and, and lead the tour through the shops. Well, there was an old soul residing in that cat because I swore he was an old locomotive engineer from back in the day. Probably was. For those of you who don't know, the Nevada Northern is a fabulous railroad out at Ely, Nevada in the middle of Nevada's, uh, what would you call it, uh, barren no, in Nowhere. Nowhere, right in the, squarely in the middle of nowhere. But what an amazing place. It's the land time forgot. Well, they tell us that dirt was born under the tender of the rotary snowplow in the spring of 2008. Oh my goodness. The early spring. Right. <laughs> Just about maybe this time of year as a matter of fact. But of course, as, as cats go, there was an entire litter of cats and a mommy cat. But in no time at all, all of the other cats just moved on. The mommy moved on, all the other kittens moved on, but Dirt just moved in. Right. <laughs> made himself right at home. And he, he moved into this caboose. This doesn't look much like a caboose, but it's a, a very deteriorated old caboose. And well, it just became his home. Well, for those of us that know cats, a lot of times they pick their home. And maybe they'll even pick their name, but they know where it's safe. They do. They're, they're just, they're very intuitive. Right. And if they know that it's a comfortable environment and a non-threatening environment, and in this case, all of the shop crew uh, either ignored him or actually uh, took care of him. They started putting out food for him and right. that sort of thing. And well, he just got more and more used to the idea that these people weren't going to hurt him and more and more comfortable with uh, letting people come up and even petting him. Right. Well, having a cat around is always a wonderful thing. For a start, they keep the mice population down. Well, they also said that, strangely enough, dirt had the uncanny ability to catch the bats. Oh yeah, probably bats and spiders and just kept all the bad things away. Yeah, uh, so it's, a, it's actually a very good thing to have a, a cat like dirt in your locomotive shop. And as we also know about cats, they're very inquisitive. Well, this one really was because he adopted every single train, car, and locomotive in the building. And, and it didn't seem to bother him that it was filthy, dirty. Uh, one of his favorite places to sleep was in one of the steam locomotives, and he'd just roll around in the soot. So, well, there was no keeping him clean. No. Yeah, anyway, uh, his future turned around in 2018. They do a photographer special every winter, and professional photographers come from all over the world, really, uh, to take pictures out here in the snow. And in 2018, Steve Kreiss spotted dirt and thought, well, that's the shot of the day right there. And he dropped down on the floor of the shop and grabbed that famous photograph that went viral on the internet and suddenly dirt was internationally famous. Well, he loved to pose for the camera. I've got several pictures of him too where he just poses. Yeah, you'd pull out your camera and he'd come running. Yep. Well, and none of this celebrity was lost on Eric Menses here at the shops and he decided to create a Facebook page and a whole internet profile for dirt and a bunch of dirt products too. Dirt shirts and dirt cups and dirt coffee and you name it. Right, he had quite a production line. 
and uh, pretty soon people were sending in money for cat food and uh, the best fundraiser they ever had was Dirt the Cat. And in 2020, a new cat showed up. Right. DJ. DJ, another yellow cat. <laughs> Dirt Jr. And just another kitten here in the shops and uh, definitely Dirt's protege. Yes. And so everybody fell in love with DJ, although DJ, well, he'd be there and then he'd vanish for days at a time. He's a typical kitten. Yes, and that's not a real mouse, that's his baby. That's his baby, that's his toy. Yes. But as time is going forward here, uh, DJ, as he's growing into a, a regular cat, he's also growing into a regular fixture here in the shops. Yeah, but they say he's growing into his paws. Growing into his paws, and he's pretty content now to do just as Dirt did and just live here in the, in the shops. Right. But as fun as DJ is, well, Dirt was still our favorite cat. Like I say, that cat just had an old soul in there. I swear, he was an old locomotive engineer in another life. He just, he knew those trains. He did. From the moment he appeared here, he just knew his way around these trains and these shops and became a fixture. Right. He's, yeah, definitely an old soul. Yep. Well, we were out there in May last year and uh, the crew around here didn't feel it was safe to have dirt over in the foundry living in that caboose. And they built him a lovely little personal caboose here in the machine shop. Right, his own Betty Bye. <laughs> because they needed to keep a closer eye on him. Right. He was he's getting old. He's getting old. He was coming up on 15 years old and well, it was starting to show that, that dirt was, was a a tired elder statesman. Right, and very, very elderly. Well, and he seemed just content to stay in the nice heated machine shop in his Betty Bye. Well, we wished him a fond farewell. We knew we'd be right back out here because we're always back out here. Right, but I think every time we came out, I always worried that that would be the last time we'd see him. We knew that that day would come. And when we were back out here in July, well, he just, he wasn't his chipper self. No, he could tell he was failing. He was tired and quite content to just sort of stay in the shadows and just rest and I guess maybe dream about chasing mice and bats and all the things he used to do. Right, or just be comfortable. Just be comfortable. Anyway, just a few days ago, with all the other people from the shop gathered around, they said their goodbyes to Dirt the Cat, and he passed with, with all of his friends and compatriots there with him. Yeah, you know, it's sad. I just, I feel so bad about losing him. Yeah, but he crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Right. He'll look down on all of us and watch over that shop. You know, I think he will be watching over that shop. He yes. He always has. Yes. So why would you assume that, you know, that he would stop? Yep, he'll be there. They call it the ghost train. And mm hmm I think there are plenty of old, old souls still hanging around those locomotive shops. Absolutely. Including dirt. Yes. Our, our, our precious cat from another state. Right, our fur ever friend. <laughs> <laughs>